Hello the booktube, my name is Daniel. Welcome back to my channel, Guilty Feet. Alive, alive, oh, alive, alive. Got no rhythm. Uh, I'm going to do a very short uh, um, a review of Claire Keegan's So Late in the Day because it's a tiny, tiny little thing. It's, a, it's barely a short story. It's this, this square-bound book, so I just I read it immediately after I finished the fourth. That's the fourth next to Claire Keegan's uh, So Late in the Day. Uh, um, so tiny little sort of square-bound hardback book. It's barely 47 pages with some great big print. Uh, um, so really, I inhaled this in about 25 minutes. It's barely a short story, uh, uh, but I cheekily picked it up, you know, even though it's published as a sort of new hardback. Um, not, not, you know, it's about half of what a hardback price was, and I picked it up from Amazon, so I got it at about, you know, 10, 15% discount from that. But I had such a wonderful experience with the two Claire Keegan um, novellas that I've read so far. So small things like these, which shortlisted for Booker Prize last year, and then I read Foster, which was just, I think, probably my book of the year last year. 90 pages, not a word out of place. And the, the common theme of both those books, small things like these and Foster, was something about the essential kindness of humans, but also of men. Uh, uh, um, uh, certainly, uh, um, small things like these is focused on a man and what he sees and the decision he makes. And Foster, although we see through the eyes of a young girl, uh, I think, uh, uh, and 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 you know, a, a, a family. There is a mother and a father who uh, um, she interacts with. But the the closing scene and that the devastating closing line, which I, I can't even uh, talk about, um, is something. It's about the kindness of men and the warmth and the willingness of men to be kind and to see uh, uh, to to strive for goodness uh, um, that was my takeaway from from both those books and, and it just beautiful that they both came to me at, at, at a good time in my life at a time where i'm you know probably preferring kindness over uh, the opposite uh, and then we have this standalone claire keegan so late in the day which is not that this is not a book about the kindness of people or the kindness of men it is a book about a man uh, um, for whom kindness is is meaningless it's a man without kindness. It's a very uh, um, stunted story about a man and um, a, a relationship that he has had with a woman and his view of it and his misunderstanding of it um, and his inability to find kindness uh, and hints about why that is and a tiny little half page about his background and his mother and his father. Uh, but it's essentially, this is a grown man. Uh, um, who uh, um, is unable to behave in a way that would uh, make him uh, uh, able to interact with other human beings in a positive way. There is no kindness here. There is no kindness in his heart. Uh, um, and uh, um, therefore, so late in the day, decisions are made. A tiny little thing, even though it was it was the opposite of what I've come to expect on the, the two tiny Claire Keegan books that I've read. I still love this. Uh, uh, you only get a short um, um, review because it's so tiny, but uh, I've got now one of her early collections of short stories from before uh, Foster, uh, which is already 10 years ago, uh, and I'm looking forward to eating those up because she's pretty fantastic. Uh, Claire Keegan's So Late in the Day, tiny but fabulous. Bye.